Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist and today I want to talk to you about how to safely transport babies and kids when using a white cane. All right, let's do this. So I decided to make this video after one of my clients recently just had a baby and was asking me questions about what's the best way to transport that baby uh, when using his white cane. And I struggled with answering that, so I went back and did a little bit of research and there wasn't too much out there that I can find on the best way to transport a baby when using a white cane. So I went out and asked a few other orientation mobility instructors as well as some people from the blindness community and I'm gonna share with you some of the ideas they had and I think they're pretty good. So let's get to it. So before I dive into my demonstration here, I just want to say that this video is really meant to just be instructional. It is not meant to replace meeting with an orientation and mobility specialist. Uh, and that's really important, especially for some of the things I'm going to be showing you because there's safety involved when transporting either babies or children. So I definitely recommend if you have a young one and you want to learn how to travel with your white cane while transporting them to meet with an orientation and mobility specialist. All right, let's get into the demonstration. Come with me. To start my demonstration, I first want to talk about why using a standard push stroller with a white cane is not recommended, and then I'll share with you some other alternatives that might be more useful and helpful. Okay, so here I am on a residential sidewalk, and I have a push stroller in front of me, and I just want to demonstrate a little bit of why using a push stroller is not recommended. Uh, first, it's really hard to use the cane. The stroller is taking up pretty much all the space in front of me, so the cane can only go to one side or the other. And when I use the stroller and push the stroller here, um, I'm not able to tell when obstacles are coming up because my cane is giving me inadequate uh, warning or feeling. So because it's children and kids, you want to be safe and it could easily topple if you hit the edge. It could tip to the side or you go over a, say, a hole that the stroller does not feel and then you trip on it or there's a crack in the sidewalk. So this is really not the best way to transport either uh, babies or children. All right, so this is the first of three alternatives I'm gonna share with you, and this is really my favorite one, especially if you can uh, physically do this. So right now I have a uh, child carrier strapped to my chest and a toddler uh, strapped into my carrier. And I like this because I'm still able to use my cane and use it to its full capacity, unlike pushing a stroller where the stroller is blocking the cane. So now I'm gonna demonstrate walking along this sidewalk here while using the cane with a toddler strapped in a carrier on my chest. So my cane is sweeping left and right and still doing a great job of giving me all the warning I would normally get. So I really uh, like this as a good way of transporting either a baby or a child. Okay, so now for my second alternative, and that is using a wagon that you can pull behind you. Uh, instead of pushing a stroller in front of you, you can use a wagon as a way of still having your cane out in front of you and pulling the wagon. So here I'm on that same residential sidewalk. I have a blue wagon and my toddler sitting in there. And one thing I wanna mention is they do make wagons with uh, seat belts or ways to buckle in either a, a child or a toddler. So I definitely recommend that if you're gonna be using this option. So I'm gonna demonstrate here. I have the wagon in my left hand, the handle, the wagon's behind me and the cane is out in front of me. So we're gonna walk and I still get full function of the cane and I'm pulling the wagon behind me. Um, so this is actually another pretty good option that I like as a way of transporting. Okay, so now for my third and final alternative. Um, again, on this residential sidewalk, I have a standard stroller here uh, behind me with my toddler sitting in it. And this alternative is probably my least favorite of the three, but it is to pull the stroller instead of push it. Uh, some strollers are better designed to be pulled um, than probably this one, but this is just a kind of an example and another way of traveling with a toddler or child uh, when using your cane because when you're pulling the stroller you still get the cane out in front of you uh, for obstacle protection so i'm um, trying to pull this stroller here it's pretty tough to control both the cane and the stroller at the same time uh, it's partly the reason it's not one of my favorites um, but this is just another example it might be worth trying for you so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little bit more on how to transport babies or children safely when using a white cane. And these are just a few ideas I've learned. I'm sure there's a lot more. And if you have some, I would love for you to share them in the comments below. And if you're feeling up for it, please subscribe to my channel here and click that little bell icon to be alerted when new videos become available. And have a wonderful day. Bye.